All right, guys, so uh, today we're gonna have a short uh, walk in uh, Rome city center. We will see the Pantheon and at the end, Piazza Navona. So it uh, shouldn't take us more than, uh, let's say, two hours. So in uh, our way to Pantheon, we found the Adrian Temple. So let's have a closer look. So this is a Roman temple from 145 AD. Adrian Temple was one of the largest temples in Rome at the time of its construction and its exterior was originally covered in marble. All right guys, so this area is called Stone Square or in Italian Piazza di Pietra. So these Corinthian columns are awesome. All right, so uh, let's carry on our walking to Pantheon. So we are closer and closer to the Pantheon now. And here we are. Uh, finally here. The Pantheon in Rome is a former Roman temple and since 609 AD a Catholic church. Also this area looks to be very crowded. So what we have in front is the well-known Pantheon. The Pantheon is one of the best preserved ancient buildings in the world and its dome is still the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. Right guys, so if you want to see what's uh, inside, you may need to pay uh, 5 euros for an adult or 3 euros for a child. Or if you want to get in for free, try Sundays. Alright guys, so uh, Pantheon uh, was great, now let's go straight to Piazza Navona. Just bought uh, this bottle of Sprite with 1 euro and 80 cents. But, uh, to be honest with you guys, it uh, has a strange shape. I mean, it's unusual seeing uh, a bottle of Sprite at uh, 660 mils. On our way to Piazza Navona, we found this church called San Luigi dei Francesi, or in English, Church of St. Louis of the French. <laughs> We are closer and closer to Piazza Navona now. And here we are. Piazza Navona is one of the most famous and beautiful squares in Rome. It is located in the heart of the city, just a short walk from the Pantheon and the Trevi Fountain. Okay, so uh, this area is called Piazza Navona. They have three interesting fountains here, so uh, let's have a closer look at each. So this is the first one. So what we have in front is called the Fountain of the Moor. This fountain is located on the northern side of Piazza Navona and depicts a Moorish slave holding a conch shell. So this is the second one, which is 
right in center of the square. The Fountain of the Four Rivers is the centerpiece of Piazza Navona. It was designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini and completed in 1651. The fountain features four allegorical figures representing the four major rivers of the world. The Nile, the Ganges, the Danube and the Rio de la Plata. And finally, the third one. So what we have in front is called the Fountain of Neptune. This fountain is located on the southern side of Piazza Navona and depicts the Roman god Neptune riding a chariot pulled by seahorses. Right guys, as uh, tips and tricks here, when you travel at 41 degrees Celsius, choose routes with shady places honestly otherwise your brain is gonna boil for me it's a real challenge filming at this temperature so i'm now uh, having a walk uh, on a couple of uh, small streets so all these uh, small streets are near piazza navona Also, don't forget to drink some water, as is bloody hot here, honestly. Alright guys, just forgot to mention that 24-hour uh, ticket for uh, the underground or uh, metro, it's only 7 euros. I hope uh, you liked the video, if yes, please uh, drop a comment, subscribe, why not uh, just like it, like it and that's it.